Hello everyone and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 10211, the Grand Emporium. It has 2,182 pieces for ages 16 and up and it's from the Modular Building Series and this set retails for $149.99. And before I continue, I would like to give a shout out to P. Angolemo, Mr. Lalo8111, LEGOs to Bricks, and All Star Week 193. Okay, they are the subscribers who had requested that I review this set, so everyone check out their channels. And moving forward, here in the front we see the Grand Emporium, and it's awesome. And she probably thinks so too, because she just spent all her money in there. And here on the side we have the parts, more on that later, towards the end of the video. And here in the back we see a lot of playable features, details, and a whole bunch of other neat stuff too. And I'll talk about this set in more detail, coming up. Here are the minifigures, and as you can see, we get a lot. First up is this young lady. You'll find her behind the cash register in the first floor, collecting nothing because there is no money in the set, which I thought was strange. Okay, so I can only wonder how everyone's going to pay for everything. And next we have the male mannequin. I count him as a minifigure because he does have a face. All right, and there we go. Okay, so he's got a pretty nice looking suit there. No details on the back. And the same goes for this young lady over here. Okay, you can show your pretty face. I won't bite. Just ask my wife. Okay, and there we go. Looks like she's in a wedding gown. Some details there in the back. And those two might make a good wedding cake topper. Who knows? Next, we have the shopaholic. And as you can see, she is dressed up for the Christmas season over here. She's got a nice little necklace over here. And it looks like she just finished her holiday shopping. Some minor details there in the back pretty nice and next we have the guy who is stuck in the fitting room trying out a new pair of jeans and I wish these were yellow pants but no those are his legs and he's got some really small black underwear my advice is you should get an underwear not pants because that looks like floss over there it's just some advice because that looks like it will itch anytime over here is the kid who looks like he's dressed up as a pirate a little swashbuckler over here some minor details in the back and there we go. And finally, we have the window washer who goes way up there. Okay, he looks like a farmer from the other sets. This is probably his part-time job. All right, and there we go. I guess we'll see more of him later on. Now I'll take a look at the Grand Emporium. Here is the first floor, and this is the floor that has probably the most detail out of the three. Okay, because as you can see, they spent a lot of effort here on the exterior and the interior too, which I'll show you later on, okay? And unlike most of the module sets, this is a corner building, okay, which is something you don't see very often. The last time we saw a corner building was the cafe corner back in 2007. And we'll just start with this side over here where we had the ice cream vendor. Okay, the only flavor they have is vanilla, which is okay. I like vanilla too. And she's the one who will be selling it to the little kid. I just don't know how the kid's going to pay for it because, like I said, there's no money. Okay, over here we have a wastebasket, and if you look right behind them, we have some windows over here that are really clear, okay? You can see some hats there or some window shopping, okay? So there we go. And then going over here, we have another shopper. We have two pots of flowers. And here are the revolving doors, okay? Which spins pretty fast. It looks really cool. However, it is a little bit awkward to play with, okay? Because if you try to put a minifigure through there like this and you spin it slowly and oh, there goes Junior's hand. And he's like, ah, my hand, ah. And then, you know, it's really hard to get in there, okay? You can try to do it faster if you want, all right? But it's, that's just how it is, okay? And there we go. And okay, he's in there. So that's a lot of effort to get inside. That probably explains the slow business, which you'll see later on, okay? But over on this side, we have a mailbox. And we have two letters that will never get delivered because there's no mailman yet. And then right behind that is some more window shopping. You see the mannequins there on display with the wedding clothing over there. It's pretty neat. Over on this side, we have two pegs to connect to other modular builds. And we also have access to the back door, which is probably where I'll go if I want to go shopping inside, okay? And there's a wastebasket and a little lamp over there. And here's the other side where we have more connectors for other modular builds. And there we go. Okay, let's take a look inside. On the way in, you'll notice that there's a really nice floor pattern here at the corner, which is a really nice touch. And then up here, I like the way they made the sign up here. It looks pretty clever. Although, it doesn't look as good as the one in the Fire Brigade, but still, it looks cool nonetheless. 
And when you look inside, you'll see that the first floor is dedicated to selling clothing and some minor accessories too. Okay, because we got the mannequins there on the side, and we have some kitty pants up there on the shelves, which I find a little strange, especially if you're trying to sell to little kids, because that's really high up there. I don't think they could reach for them. And then right next to it, we have the fitting room, and that's where the guy is changing his pants. Okay, so we can take a look. I thought I would never do that to a guy, but there we go. Although, he doesn't really have anything to be ashamed of. There's only one girl here. So, maybe you might impress her. Who knows, right? Well, let's not get into that. And then right besides that, we have a little table there where they sell the perfume and cologne. Okay, pretty neat. And we'll just put that back over here. And right besides that, we have the cash register, which is right on top of the jewelry display case. And let's take a closer look. Okay, and there it is. All right, see? And there's a cash register that doesn't take cash. Ever see that before? First time for me. And down there is the display case. See? A lot of jewels over there. Pretty nice. Okay, and then over on this side, we have a little display for the hats. And right next to it are two little steps that will take you to the escalator. And that will lead us to the second floor. And let's take a look. Here is the second floor, and as you can see, it looks pretty nice too on the outside. Although it's not as sophisticated as the first floor. Alright, but there it is. Okay, we have some flags there which is what separates this from the third floor, okay, because the third floor doesn't have those. And you'll notice that we have a lot of these green windows over here, okay. We have 19 sets of those, and we have another 19 on the third floor, too. All right, and there it is. And here is this side. We have another window over here, and here is the other side, okay, and there you go. And when you look on the inside, you'll see that it's pretty simple, too. All right, this is the floor that is dedicated to selling the plates and the cups. And as you can see, there's really not much business over here. And I think I know why. And the reason why is because when you look at the escalator, all right, it has really nice details there, but I'm not sure how it is in other parts of the world, but over here we have two escalators. One to go up and one to go down. This one looks like a one-way trip, so I guess no one's going up over here. Okay, so there we go. All right, thought that was a little strange. And now, to put this on the first floor, okay, it's not hard. There's no studs where this thing will attach to, okay, which I find a little weird, but I guess it's okay. It'll just be locked in by these two parts over here and this part over here, okay, and this will fit in just nicely. I just prefer studs there anyway because you see it's a little bit loose, but I guess it's something we can work with, all right? Now to take a look at the third floor. Here is probably what is my most favorite department in any store, and that's the toy store. Although this might make an exception because they don't sell Lego sets over here. And if they do, that looks like a set that's already pre-made. Or it could be a birdhouse. Either way, I'm not interested. All right. And over here we have a little scooter, which is pretty nice. And we have two balls. Hmm. And over here we have a really cool looking chandelier. And if you feel like going Phantom of the Opera, you can disconnect it from here and down it goes, okay? And overall, it's really nicely done on the inside. And once again, we don't really have any customers up there. Maybe it's because it's expensive, who knows. And here's what it looks like on the outside. It's just like the second floor minus the flags, okay? And that side is pretty plain. And there's another window. And now to put this on the building. While I'm here, I figured it'd be nice to show you that the third floor can easily go right onto where the second floor is supposed to go, okay? And there it is. All right, so you can always make this just a two-story building if you want, all right? But why would you, right? Taller is better. And the reason why we can do that is because the bottom is designed the same way as the second floor. Okay, so let's just put that back over here. Okay, and there we go. And the third floor can attach to the second floor by these two pieces over here. Okay, or more like get locked in there because once again, they're not attached by studs. And there it is. And it's pretty loose too. But it's not too bad. Okay, as long as you don't hold it upside down, I think you're fine. Now let's take a look at the roof. Actually, before I do that, I thought it'd be nice to show you guys what the inside looks like once they're all hooked up together because it is pretty cool looking. Okay, so let's take a closer look. All right, and wow, not bad at all. Okay, we have a good view going down. All right, we just get the light in there. And look, we have a good view of that little cute girl down there. That's really nice. All right, there it is. Okay, just hope she doesn't wear a tank top for her sake because then she'll probably wonder why are there a lot of guys shopping today but not buying anything. Hmm. Anyway, let's put the roof on top 
all right and as you can see it will go on over here and over there okay and there it is I love the skylight here that's a really big piece okay that's something you don't see very often all right and over here is the billboard let's go down and take a closer look I really like the way they made the rooftop up here because it's really detailed and as you can see it uses a lot of parts too and in the end I think it's really well worth the effort because it does add a nice finishing touch to the building okay so that's pretty neat and then moving back to the billboard just to take a closer look I gotta say I am really impressed by that they did a really good job it looks really close to the real thing okay because you got the lights over there and the way they designed it is just awesome alright and then on this side over here we have the window washer and that looks like fun that is until you have to go to the bathroom in which case you're kind of stuck but anyway here's what it looks like all around it's pretty neat and simple oh look he has a little cup there maybe he can use that nah that'd be really gross but then again he's all the way up there no one's really gonna watch so feel free and that would probably explain why the ice cream vendor has an umbrella because you don't want any extra toppings on the ice cream you know what I mean but anyway, I shouldn't make fun of him because this guy got balls. He's got to wash those windows all the way up there, and he's not afraid of heights. And he's got to do it like almost every day, so there we go, okay? So if you know someone who's afraid of heights, you can tell them it's a lucky day because they got a pair of balls for sale on the third floor. And there we go. But anyway, jokes aside, let's take a look at the recommendations. Overall, this is a really great set, just like all the other modular builds, okay? When you look at the value, you can't argue with that one, okay, because you get 2,182 pieces for $150. It comes out to 6.9 cents a piece, which is really, really good. And unlike the other modular builds, I like this one the most simply because it's got a lot of good parts, okay? We have a lot of these gray parts right here and the cheese slopes and double cheese slopes too, okay, because they're on the escalators. And those are really handy when you want to make your own creations with fighter jets and stuff like that, okay? And you'll see that in my A-10 Thunderbolt too, whenever that's finished. And when it comes to playabilities, there's a lot to do here. Okay, you have the shopping, you got the different departments, and you have like seven minifigures, okay? And you can do whatever you want, really. So, in the end, I don't see any reason why you would not get this, especially since this is a corner building, too. Okay, you don't see that very often. And for your enjoyment, okay, this is what you can do with a corner building. See that? It's really awesome. Okay, here's what it looks like all around. Beautiful, isn't it? Truly amazing. I can't wait for them to make another one. Alright, so there we go. Okay, truly a work of art. And that's it. Okay, it's definitely a worthwhile set to get. And that sums up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.